so TRV, look, so TRVL, yeah, um, still doesn't have the liquidity that we need. Uh, and um, I need everyone to participate. Anyone who has some TRVL, I'm starting to kind of, I've been educating all of my streams. I'm trying to educate, yeah. I'm trying to teach people about the markets, about price action, about patterns and stuff like that. Different ideas. I don't have any preferred idea. Candles actually are my preferred uh, technical analysis. I love candles, but actually I like it all. I love it all. Okay. I don't have anything preference in, in particular. So I'm happy to kind of look at everything. Yeah. Like there's a lot of traders out there who won't look at, like I even look at Bollinger Bands, you know, like I don't care really. I'll look at Bollinger Bands. I'll look at all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I'll look at all, I'll look at RSI. I'll look at the MACD. I'll look at all kinds of oscillators. Uh, and obviously I have my preferences, like the CCI is my favorite. And the reason why, and for example, the reason why I like the CCI is because I've been looking at the CCI for a long time, for like 15 years. Yeah. And CCI is, CCI is used in Forex. So that's why I like it. It's just, it's just familiar to me. And that's why I like, it doesn't mean it's the best. There's lots of, it's very personal what people use and what people utilize. DJ I'm saying, I just got into travel. I saw this project researched a little bit. They're going to launch their app this in the next two. It's absolutely right. When it comes to D travel, um, the volume is still relatively low. Yeah. And if I'm if I go to TRVL now on CoinGecko and show you the 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 volume um, in the last twenty four hours, you can see it's relatively low. It's kind of spread relatively evenly across the main exchanges. There's uh, there's four exchanges: um, MEXC, Gate, QCoin, and Bybit. There's also a, a new exchange. It's not listed here. It's called Cryptology. Cryptology. That's a new exchange as well. It's not on that list, but they also, they also, um, you can also trade here. It's very low liquidity on this exchange, but if it's also another exchange which has TRVL, and then obviously you have the decentralized exchanges. So you also have uh, Uniswap and PancakeSwap. Okay. And this is quite. This is lagging. Oh yeah, because of the uk stupid right never mind but anyway this is this is cryptology so if you're interested this is a new exchange that's listed trvl in the last three weeks yeah you see that now anyone who has trvl um most people are hodling because we're like building a bag for the duration of the bitcoin bull market so most people aren't even trading it yeah and actually, what we do need is we need people to trade it. Yeah, we need people to trade TRVL because in the future, the way for us to get on to uh, the tier one exchanges is for an increase in volume. Right. It's just it's just the way it works. They, these exchanges, they make their money through high volume and it's not that easy just because we have an amazing concept an amazing unique project and we're doing something very new fundamentally what it comes down to is volume yeah that's how the exchanges evaluate so when i'm looking at the volume historically over the last um months few months uh, now i've been kind of interested in this token since the launch uh, and so if you go back to August, you can see the volume was at 80,000, 82,000, 17, really low volume. Look, on the 27th of August, we had $37,000 worth of volume in a 24 hour period. Uh, and as you can see, the, the average volume as time has been passing has been going up and it's been going up and it's been going up. And so December is at 154,000 on average or 200,000. You see at the end of December, it, it peaked at about 668,000. Here in January, we had uh, we had a really high volume couple of days, nearly two million, nearly three and a half million. And what you can see 
is that on average the volume is starting to increase okay and what we what we need like people who like me and people like you people who are interested in trvl watching my videos and we we all want this token to succeed and become a high value token and become um a brand in web3 where the whole of the crypto uh enthusiasts the hundreds and millions of crypto people everyone hears about trv and knows what it is and has some and buys some and accumulates a little bit that's what we want what we really want is also the volume to go up so so i don't think it's a bad idea to trade a little bit yeah i know people are hodling um but don't don't shy away from trading a little bit of trvl because if everyone participates in that it's just going to increase the volume yeah and the best way and the easiest way to do that i think is to create a bot and so i i was showing this uh in my live stream yesterday i wasn't able to cut it because the live stream was too long <laughs> for some reason youtube doesn't allow me to cut long uh videos um so you can do this on kucoin as well and i'm sure you can do this on the other exchanges i i'm i'm using it on gate and it's called uh it's called a rebalancing bot okay and in fact it's called smart rebalance and so if you can find this on your um on your exchange and if you can't you can probably get it at free comma free commas as well so free commas is a uh uh is a third party site which will connect to these different exchanges and it allows you to create bots too okay uh i haven't used it this year i used to use it but it probably does the same thing so smart rebalance is quite interesting because you don't have to put a large amount of value to add volume to trading if everyone does this then we can increase the volume and no one is going to lose money because all smart rebalance does is it you give it a percentage of this isn't my trvl huddle portfolio this is just a small amount of trvl it's about seven or eight hundred dollars worth which i've put in this mini bot it's about three and a half thousand dollars worth of value in total and i've split it between four tokens and i've uh i've it's about 25 percent i have a rebalancing frequency of one hour and basically every hour i'm either buying or selling some tokens automatically this is automatic yeah you see that so i bought tr this bot bought some trvl it bought 100 trvl you see that and it sold some vai and here look it sold some vai it bought some trvl it sold some quanks it bought some trvl uh and etc 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 so every hour i'm i'm buying and selling see it sold a little bit of trvl it sold 46 trvl this bot is just continuously working for me i'm not doing anything and what i'm adding is volume to trvl and these other coins which i'm not fussed about but actually i'm really interested in trvl and and I'm actually making money too, because what it does is when one of the tokens goes up and in this mini portfolio increases in percentage, it sells a little bit and rebalances your portfolio. So you're buying slightly higher into another token. Uh, you're buying slightly cheaper. You're selling slightly higher, you're buying slightly cheaper and it just keeps on rebalancing. And so actually you can see uh, it says my total return has been $253 and I'm not losing value because I'm still in crypto. I'm not actually using USDT. It's it, what it does is it sells it to USDT first and then it buys it using USDT to the other token because you don't have pairs between TRVL and Cube or, or, or Quanks or VAI, yeah? So I think if everyone um, would do this, then we can increase the volume and no one would lose any money. We'd all be making money. We just have a lot of volume, okay? Um, and I can tell you for a fact that if we can get our volume over a million, we're not that far away, to be honest with you, because on some days you see it's 700,000, 
um, 1 million there, 2 million. If we can, in the current status that of who we are, get our volume to a million, we're going to start getting a lot of these bigger exchanges interested in our, in our token, listing our token. That's what we want. Yeah. Now, it's not as straightforward getting onto Binance, Coinbase and uh, OKX. And so you just have to present to them the perfect use case, the perfect everything. Yeah. Like the perfect sell. So we, you know, we've been in conversation, or I've heard that D Traveler have been in conversations. And one of the things that have always, has always been a stickler has been volume. So what we need to do is increase the volume that comes through, uh, increasing interest in the token, but it also comes from people starting to bot. So I think if everyone were to do this, I think that would be very helpful. We are all kind of participating in the endeavor. It isn't just about. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to hold this. I'm just going to wait for the end of the bull market and sell. Now we're also helping to build this token into the beast and the mammoth that it could become not just as a real world application, which is the travel, but also as a, a heavy duty crypto that becomes established and recognized uh, in the broader market. You know, that we, we, we have, there is that potential, you know, we have that potential. That's one thing that people could, and in my opinion, should do, and you won't lose any money and you don't have to use all your TRVL. You can just use a little bit and actually will, you'll all, you'll be making money throughout the course of this bull market because the bot will just make you money. It'll just make you money. Yeah. See today's total return in, in USDT 97. I've just made $97 extra just by rebalancing my little portfolio and total i only started this two days ago and i've made according to this two i think it's right 245 dollars so i'm going to keep a track of this and see how this plays out and i think if everyone is interested they should also do this if if, if they want to that would be amazing the other thing that would be really good if people are interested is to create a grid bot now i haven't done this yet um, but I'm going to do this. And what a grid bot does is it creates liquidity uh, on the market. Um, I don't know where it is. Uh, and so also one of the problems with TRVL is a lack of liquidity. Uh, and so on gate, for example, you can actually add TRVL to a liquidity pool. Um, the problem with doing that is you have to put it in with USDT. And there's that kind of the idea of um, impermanent loss, uh, which isn't really a problem if, if you if you have USDT on the side, if you're not looking to put that USDT into a crypto, but you can actually do it on gate. You can actually put in liquidity. I don't know where it is. I saw it the other day. Um, but but short of doing that, you don't even have to do that. You can just create a bot. It's the same thing. So. If I go to here, it is, it's called, um, a spot grid, either a spot grid or a margin or a margin grid. Yeah. I think it's either an infinite grid or a spot grid, probably an infinite grid. Okay, that's BTC. Let's have a look at TRVL. And actually on gate, it's interesting because you can do it between TRVL and BTC. Okay, so if people don't want to do it between TRVL and Fiat, they can just do it between TRVL and BTC. But I think it, it'd be good to do it with both if people have a USDT on the side. And what that does is it creates liquidity for the market um let me just uh, go back to there i haven't done this before oh god i've lost my uh <laughs> oh, it's gone I've literally vanished what the hell let me go to the five minute time frame then i have to have a look at that one usually you can just reset it there and it can't do it let me go to trading view all right there it is 
Um, all right, there it is. All right, so. It's called, uh, there it is. Buy low, sell high, stop loss, arbitrage. I'm not sure which one it is, but if it's a spot grid, let me have a look at that. What you want to do is create one. I don't know how to do this. Spot grid is a classical effective trading method. The bots can automatically buy low and sell high, taking advantage of price of, of oscillations of arbitrage. Okay, there's a help file there. Um, so how do I create one? I'm going to try and create one now. Um, manual trade. Bots. Spot grid. Infinite grid. No price limit. Stop plus arbitrage. Let's try a spot grid. Um, recommended or customized. There it is. Price range. Crypto. And now, so I don't have any USD in this account. That's the problem. So you, you, after selecting the dual coin mode, the required amounts of TRV and a USDT for the grid. So open orders will be calculated based on the amount of USDT you have invested. If you do not have submission amount for one coin, the other coin submission amount will be converted to meet the via. So, so basically, effectively, what you're doing is you're creating a grid. Yeah. And maybe what I should do in another example is create it um, and show you how it works. But effectively, what you're doing is you're just creating a grid. As the price comes up, it sells a little bit. And the price comes down, it buys at, at intervals. And you're profiting the fluctuations. Yeah. And so you see when, the, when someone comes in and market buys, why does the price go up so far up? is lack of liquidity and we can solve this problem by creating a grid a spot grid if we all did this we, we would actually create a, a ton of liquidity and no one would lose because that would be more attractive for investors to come and invest in our token yeah a little bit of management with a spot grid the rebalancing one is good for creating volume because every hour uh, you're just buying and selling trvl and rebalancing your portfolio everyone should do that anyway that just increases the volume the spot grids creates liquidity on the market it's quite a it's quite an interesting endeavor and you don't have to do it with a large amount of trvl i'm going to do it again uh, in another video and show people and that would create uh liquidity and you can do it on every exchange because they all have them now. Or you can do it on three commas. You'd have to pay, I think. I think you get one for free. And then the others you have to pay. Where is it here? Let me have a look. Um, or maybe you have to pay. It's probably best to just use the ones on, um, on the exchanges. I think one should be free, but they might have started charging. It used to be free. Uh, that's if you're like a professional <laughs> a professional bar now that we begin in the middle of a bull market at the beginning it's, it's a really good idea to get your bots working and if we all did this we could add a lot of liquidity uh and fill the order book on the upside and the downside that's going to make this more bullish because people will be less scared to 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 buy and sell trvl because right now it's quite difficult to buy a large amount of volume without moving the price. So you can clearly see that this five minute candle uh, on gate, let me go that. This is a one minute candle. So in that one minute time frame, um, there was how much volume was there? Can you see? Um, 90, so someone bought 93,000. Uh, TRVL and the price moved from 6.6 .6 cents all the way up to 6.9 cents and then here they bought much less they bought um, 
29,000 and the price went all the way up to 7.2 cents. So there's a liquidity problem. And the reason why there's a liquidity problem is because people are, are hodling. Yeah, then what we can do is we can help. We can help with that endeavor by creating these bots. That will help with the volume. That will also help with the liquidity. So um, I think if everyone wants to participate in turning this into a mammoth, we can by just uh, uh, by just doing that. DGM is saying one thing I like with TRVL is the increasing volume and the market cap is only just 17 million. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's quite a small market cap. And I've said this before in the past. Oh, shh. Wow, Bitcoin went up a lot, huh? Let me just quickly have a look at Bitcoin. I wasn't even paying attention. I think we went up. You talk about uh, TRVL and then Bitcoin kind of <laughs> flies a little bit. Look at that. It's nice to see her. Had a little swing failure of that high there. Just, uh, just take, just bear in mind. And uh, we're above the golden pocket now, which is good to see. So if we can hold this golden pocket as support, that will be a nice kind of development. Um, to see if we can push up, that will be really nice. A little kind of impulsive move to the upside. That will be really nice to see. There was a little bit of uh, head and shoulders here. So let's see how that ref reflected on Slurf, actually, because we were looking at Slurf, weren't we? Um, there you go. Slurf kind of is, is also in that kind of um, forming that kind of behavior. So, yeah. So, yeah. It's, sorry. Back to TRV. I got a little bit distracted. That's fine. The thing about T, like, I don't think people realize how big the market cap of airbnb is market cap airbnb 100 billion dollars yeah so airbnb in the space of 10 or 12 or 14 years or however long it is has has taken an idea and become a 100 billion dollar market cap oh 2008 so a little bit longer 16 years I've been using Airbnb since 2012, yeah, and actually back in 2012 it wasn't that big. No one really knew about Airbnb. I first used used it as a traveler, and then I started using it as a host. So on my profile, yeah, um, if I have a look, I haven't looked at it in a while. Oops. Don't even I don't even know if I can see my um my my uh oh, here they are from hosts yeah see I was I've been using it since 2012 and in all of that time I've just seen it Airbnb become a mammoth and become extremely big and they they don't have any natural competitors in the market and as a result uh They've start they've started to behave really badly and towards their customer base and towards their the users, their hosts and the travelers. And so I don't I don't see I don't see how I don't see why we can't take a little bit of chunk out of that market cap. They don't have any natural competitors and if anyone has seen the growth of Bitcoin and what where Bitcoin started, which was a peer to peer uh, network where you were able to transact value between uh, one person to another without intermediaries, without a bank. Here, exactly the same thing. Do you travel? You're, you're, you have the ability to rent and let out your property to vacation, to holiday vacations, um, sorry, to vacationers to people who are going on holiday without an intermediary yeah slightly different but actually very similar but also if you look at the the depths of what d travel is doing they're looking to standardize um the whole industry in terms of data sharing and data collection it's a lot more um 
it's a lot more uh, interesting and, and it's a lot more complicated and deep, a lot more kind of deep than people imagined and not only that you've got this uh they're, they're in they're in they're building and they're incorporating this ai infrastructure into d travel and that actually could become something uh really big um that could become something extremely big my my ideas or my imagination of what it could become is i'll show you so like right now if you go to the app yeah and I'll be talking to certain people in the team about this. So this is the beat, the alpha. This is the version zero of the search engine, right? It kind of looks like Airbnb where you can just, uh, this is not finished product. So it hasn't been launched yet. And uh, if, right now you can find a stay. So you can like go to London and there's, there's some bugs. Obviously, this is a bug that's got has to be fixed. They haven't fixed it yet because they, they're going to release a fix, which fixes all the bu bugs in one go. Okay. But let's just say you can go to Long London. You can search for properties. Uh, let's sorry, there's, And you can right now, you can book a property, right? You can book an apartment. So there, I can go there. It takes me to their site, uh, which is a direct booking site and i can book directly with them in the future you're going to get a situation where people search on airbnb or booking.com or expedia and then they come into d travel and book directly so d travel is already going to be the centralized marketplace for booking properties directly and that will already happen like that's we're at the beginning of something that's going to really explode and so right now i can check availability i can already do that and so this is already going to be quite a big deal because here I can book this property without Airbnb. Um, and it's all recorded and registered on the blockchain. And that will be for the use of the night protocol, which is something uh, which is uh, being created and built. So, yeah, so I can do that. Um, but if you go back to the search engine if i've lost it where is it snuff market is that it <laughs> literally lost it that's it um you have this ai search engine so when that's launched it's basically going to be a some sort of chat bot so you will say i want to go to the type it in i want to go to these are my dates and I want to be by the beach for a family of da, da 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 and I want to be close to the museum, play center, water park, whatever. And then the AI search engine will figure it all out and give you the options. So it'll be a lot more intuitive uh, than just manually searching and then it will be learning as well. So the more you search, the more it will learn about you and what you're looking for and also it will bring all of that into some kind of um search result that helps people to search faster i don't know if you know but searching is not easy searching for properties you have to look through all of them it's quite difficult it takes a lot of time so that's going to save a lot of time that's just the first idea of what could happen in the future in the future what you're going to get i think this is my vision is that you have this you this ai assistant which is like your executive assistant where not only does it find you you say like i want to go to barcelona next week and it, it'll book your hotel or apartment it'll book your flight it'll give you a full itinerary it will know exactly what you want and it'll give you uh it'll book all the activities as well because it will know yeah, so that's a real problem like right in this day and age i don't think people realize but families booking holidays uh struggle because they have to spend a lot of time finding hotels finding car hire flights making sure all of the dates the timings coordinate it's quite a stressful process making sure uh you 
getting it all connected and then having an itinerary and that's why you you still have these legacy travel agencies that still do well in an internet age because they do all of that work for you they charge their commission they do all of that work for you so my vision for the future of what this could become is an ai assistant which does all of that and this will be the this will be like the first iteration of that future that could happen so this is i think this is really this could be really big uh in the future i'm really thinking it could become huge is trvl the only travel token amir uh nope uh yes and no <laughs> um the other tr the other token that i've been interested in is uh cube uh and that is also a travel token it's very different and then obviously you have uh travala so Travala, if anyone's familiar, it's called Ava. The token is Ava. This is not a peer-to-peer. -peer. This is more of a centralized, or I can't, a centralized platform. It's, this is a little bit like Expedia. And here you can just book, book flights and hotels with crypto, right? But it's, it's centralized. And so their token is a rewards program. It's not like D-Travel, which is a peer-to-peer -peer application and where the token reflects uh, a DAO, the, your, your share of the DAO. It's slightly, it's very different. D-Travel is becoming a decentralized application, which is, uh, and these, these crypto projects are, oh, these are centralized. These are like classic Web2, but they utilize crypto to reward their users, okay? And then... You also have the other one that I've been looking at, which is called KuCoin. This is this is a, this is a product in development, and they're building um, they're building this called FlyCube. You see FlyCube. Um, I see it's 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 a work in progress. I don't know if it's going to succeed or not. Uh, I have I have I have a little bit of value in this, very small. And here you see you can book flights and hotel. This is a Cardano uh, project. I don't know if it's going to take off. It might. Who knows? Some. I'm quite interested in travel because it's it, and I'm I'm interested in the applications to do with travel, uh, and so yeah, that's why I'm kind of interested in these things. But I think D Travel has that potential. I think that AI search engine assistant could become really, really, really advanced where in the future it will do the whole itinerary it will do all the activities it will do all the uh, stays it will do all the connections it will do, the, do all of the uh, car rentals it will do all it in one go you don't have to do any of it they give you the itinerary all you have to do is pay really and it just figures it all out that that should be the future now that's the future now yeah and we just have to make that happen and i think that is where this will go in the future I'm imagining that D-Travel becomes so big that it acquires um, <laughs> Travala. That's what I'm imagining. Uh, that's what I, another another projects. And then D-Travel becomes the all encompassing project. Yeah, so we, I think we're quite early when it comes to TRVL. And ultimately it's for us as a DAO to influence the future and they're open to that they're very open to 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 people like me and you and anyone who's listening to help make this big you know this isn't a team out there doing this and we're just hoping that it does well and we can make a bit of money in the bull market we could actually create a collective movement which will transform uh travel and create a decentralized travel which is going to benefit everyone and it'll be basically owned and run by this decentralized autonomous organization so i think we're at the beginning of something potentially very big i've spoken to all of the people in d travel i don't work for them i don't get paid for by them but i can tell you they're on the same page they have the same kind of hunger 
and appetite for transforming the whole industry so this is very i'm very excited about uh the future here and we can all participate it begins with what i was suggesting <laughs> which is creating a bot <laughs> creating some bots so if we could all do that that would be amazing so the two bots that i'm thinking of are the rebalancing bot and this spot grid i haven't shown people how to use the spot grid yet because it's a little bit more complicated but this smart rebalancer is extremely easy to set up yeah and so i've just done something basic you can mess about with it just pick a few tokens maybe one of them should be quite stable <coughs> in my list here right now cube is my stable one it could be usdt um and it will just rebalance every hour so it's creating volume for trvl it's also creating volume for these other tokens so you put the tokens of interest in there that you're interested in because that helps it helps the projects if the volume increases and so i don't think people realize how important volume is for these tokens to get on more exchanges the higher the volume the more exchanges will list these tokens it's just it's just the way it works shabudin hi i bought trvl quite high at 0 0.075 do you it's do you think it's a good idea to sell at 0 0.075 and wait for it to go down and buy again honestly i can't give you uh advice of when to buy and sell the only thing i can tell you uh is where there are areas of support and resistance technically okay um because i don't know when is good i, I that's not true i can tell you sometimes yeah like for example um when this price was dropping down here into 5.5 .5 cents or 5 cents uh on the 18th of march the week of the 18th of march to see when the price was dropping down here i knew that was going to happen and i knew that was a good time to buy i i told people the when when you look at my videos um on uh, youtube yeah just by technical analysis Let me show you. Where is it? one second <laughs> i just have to figure out when i which one it was um i'm kind of looking at the charts because that's how i know oh here it is here you see this t trvl correction here okay there it is trvl crunch time holding higher time frame support right so i created this I mean, I video guess, you know and i explain you see this look see this like the higher time frame fib levels so in my mind 5.5 cents so we're here and here i'm telling people i'm giving people my reasons for why see i'm drawing this out look at this yeah i'll just play it okay we might if that was to happen you could get and you were to do that again see that that would be amazing strength that's you see that so i actually just kind of i knew when the reason why i knew the when was because of fib time so i uh i use fib time a lot okay and i calculated that on fib time at this that at this time which is that week 
as the price comes into support and I and I worked out the the support levels that will be the a really good buy yeah that will be a really good buy and I imagined the price action the way it could be and I drew it out for people you see that so I kind of drew it out here see that and so if you look at the price action this is it this is it <laughs> it basically did exactly what I said yeah because of fib time and so sometimes I can give you when sometimes I can not always but the when is fib time doesn't happen often and I use higher time frame fib times and so from here to this pivot low to this high I noticed that on fib time we we had the all-time low and so naturally I knew that there would be a major pivot would put in we would put in here on the week of the 18th of March and you see on the week of the 18th of March we put in a major pivot that's why I uh I theorized that on that week you see here the the date is um it's kind of that week yeah uh I imagine that the price would come down and we'd create fib time pivot in that week yeah so sometimes I can give you a win not always but I can just give you good areas to buy and sell I can't tell you when right um oh DGM says yeah I remember that you called that level I was way a bit lower expecting at <laughs> Are you expecting lower <laughs> you, you must have bought at that level no even I bought at that level. Um, so you're saying seven point. Um, oh yeah, DGM says I'm from Philippines. Well, look, DGM. Sorry to just kind of sidetrack, uh, sidetrack the conversation. I'll go back to your your question, Shab. But look, look, DGM. This is what you can do. Yeah sign up for the affiliate program yeah this is the affiliate program uh, i don't know how you apply <laughs> um i don't know if you just log in or not but anyway sign up for the affiliate program i'm not quite sure how you apply um You might I might you might have to ask on um the, the telegram. Let me just log in. I don't know why I can't log in. Verification code. I should have received it. Let me just log in. If I can. What the hell? Never used to have a verification code. Hmm. Let me see if I found it again. That's annoying. Let me try that again. Okay, where's my code? I wanted to show you this. I can't. I can't show you because <laughs> it's not sending my, my me my code anymore. Oh, oh, there it is. I got it. Eight four two six three eight. So sign up, sign up for the affiliate program. You can create some referral links, yeah? And you can start by getting people referred using your link in the Philippines. Yeah, you said you have thousands of islands and TRVL can be really big for tourism. You can actually benefit because if anyone that you bring onto D Travel using your referral link, you will earn one and a half percent of the commission for their bookings yeah um i've been doing it look i've got 40 referrals <laughs> no no and i haven't earned anything yet but it's going to take some time like uh you know it takes time to build like once d travel can you imagine a future where um where d travel becomes really big and everyone is using it and you've managed to to bring on 
to bring on lots of referrals and you're earning a percentage of their booking commission yeah so yeah so definitely this is a good idea harry is saying while you're logging you should hide the screen sorry i the e that that email is my uh my hotmail so it's not actually my that's the email that i'm i don't really use that for um i mean i do check it but it's not like uh my it is my email but it's not anyway the thing is uh harry <laughs> if you went to my property you can also get my email there yeah so it's not like it's hidden you see my email's there my phone number's there all right uh so definitely do that that's definitely something you you should uh be that you could be interested going back to trvl you're saying should you sell and buy my strategy for the bull market is to just buy and i'm aiming for higher prices <coughs> and actually i'm not really looking to sell until i see alt season okay honestly i'm <coughs> my i have a I have an, a strategy for accumulation and I've explained this to everyone in the past. Sometime in the future, we're going to get above nine cents, uh, which is roughly here. If I can draw straight lines, it's roughly here. And that will become our, our support base. That will be our base. I don't imagine TRVL coming below nine cents sometime in the future. Now, whether you should trade it, I can't. I can't tell you. I can't give you an answer. Yeah, you, I can't tell you. You should sell and buy, sell and buy. Like, I'm not here telling people how to trade uh, TRVL. I am showing people how to trade Bitcoin. It's slightly different. TRVL and Bitcoin are slightly different with altcoins you have to look at bitcoin to trade and the with trvl right now it's still quite an, a liquid token so it's quite difficult to trade large amounts okay when we get higher it'll be a lot easier and if you do want to trade the best way to do it is to sell a little bit or half or whatever at key levels of resistance and buy back at key levels of support that's going to be the safest way to do that if you buy at seven, if you bought at seven and a half and the price just keeps on going up, what then? What do you do then? <coughs> it's difficult, isn't it? Because that's not a key level of support or resistance. Uh, the key level of support or resistance is either at nine cents or higher up at this FIB level at 10.453. Then higher up, you've got a key level of resistance at 17 and a half. This next this 50% mark which corresponds to some higher time frame level and then obviously you've got the golden pocket yeah so if you were to buy and sell at the key levels it's, it's going to be a lot easier and a lot safer for you to do that than to just arbitrarily buy and sell in the middle of nowhere and if you do decide to buy and sell it's really important that you have a plan uh, and an invalidation exactly the same as bitcoin so you said you bought 7.5 well look today on uh, on gate yeah the price went up to um 7.2 on mex it went to seven on kucoin it went to 7.3 and on bybit it went to 8.2 you see that so someone today has bought this token all the way up to 8.2 uh and the people are buying yeah we're in this kind of buying stage so i don't know if we if we have if bitcoin has put in the low maybe it's good to huddle and just hold for higher you know uh, i can't tell you what to do but look bitcoin is now trying to go up and if bitcoin manages to go up 